नमस्कार बहुत स्वागत है आपका हमारे इस विशेष लाइव फोन इन इंट्रैक्शन सेशन में और आपके साथ मैं याशु गांधी और जैसा कि हमारे कार्यक्रम का नाम है सहयोग सहयोग यानी हम सब एक साथ मिलकर एक दूसरे को सहयोग करें ताकि एक स्वस्थ शारीरिक और मानसिक जीवन हम सभी जी सकें और इसी श्रृंखला में हमारा आज का जो टॉपिक है वो है अफेक्टिवली हैंडलिंग पीयर प्रेशर इन स्कूल लेकिन अपने इस कार्यक्रम को शुरू करने से पहले डिस्कशन को शुरू करने से पहले हम आपको बता दें कि जैसा कि ये लाइव फोन इन कार्यक्रम है तो आप स्क्रीन पर जो नंबर दिए जा रहे हैं आप संपर्क कर सकते हैं हमें फ़ोन कर सकते हैं अपना फीडबैक देख सकते हैं और हमारे एक्सपर्ट से भी अपनी जो भी क्वेरीज हैं चाहे आप स्टूडेंट हैं चाहे आप पेरेंट्स हैं या फिर टीचर हैं आप हमसे संपर्क कर सकते हैं तो कार्यक्रम की करते हैं शुरुआत और सहयोग इस बात को जहन में रखते हुए हम अपने विषय को बढ़ाते हैं आगे और इस पूरे विषय को विस्तार से बात करने के लिए डिस्कशन करने के लिए वी हैव टू स्पेशल गेस्ट विथ विथ आस लेट मी इंट्रोड्यूस विद यू फर्स्ट वी हैव प्रोफेसर कल्पना वेणुगोपाल फ्रॉम एन सी आर टी आर आई मैसूर एंड वी हैव मिस्टारिया जो कि प्रैक्टिसिंग काउंसलर हैं Ma'am, good evening, both of you, and very warm welcome to both of you. Namaskar. Namaskar, ma'am. Thank, thank you for the welcome. Ma'am, when we talk about a uh, peer pressure, so peer pressure ki jab ham baat karte hain, bachchon ki baat karte hain, to jab adolescence age me bachche jab bade ho rahe hote, bahut saare physical, mental changes unke andar aare hote hain aur. कई बार वो बहुत ज़्यादा कंफ्यूज हो जाते हैं कि किस तरीके से इन सारी चीज़ों को जो एक साथ उनकी लाइफ में हो रही हैं वो कंफ्यूज हो जाते हैं और ऐसे में उनका साथ देने के लिए कई बार पेरेंट्स को भी असमंजस की स्थिति में पड़ जाते हैं नहीं समझ में आता कि कैसे हैंडल करें तो प्रोफेसर कल्पना मैं सबसे पहले आपसे शुरुआत करना चाहूँगी कि वेन वी टॉक अबाउट अफेक्टिव हैंडलिंग फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल we uh, want to understand what exactly peer pressure is thank you thank you uh, namaskar to all the viewers teachers parents and children uh, today we are discussing about this topic pre uh, peer pressure and how we handle it um, it is right we need to understand what is peer pressure first so uh, the people we socialize with uh, have a profound effect on us and uh, peer pressure is a social dynamic process that most people have experienced uh, throughout their life we are experiencing it uh, children and young people may struggle to cope uh, with it in varying forms and degrees because they are still very young and uh, they experience it as a pressure but this is something that all both adults and children we go through it we often look to our peers for guidance for reassurance and a sense of belonging so peers are very important in our life this means that peer pressure is a powerful force uh, it can have an adverse effect on children and young people's health and well being that is why we are discussing it today in today's mental well being session how does peer pressure affect children and young people's mental health see peer pressure uh, is often thought as synonymous with teenage years only however most people want to fit in Uh, right in the beginning that is why it is affecting even children in the primary schools today everyone has peers peers can be your friends who are about your age and have similar interest and experiences peer can also mean those kids who are involved in the same activities with you as a part of your everyday routine like your music classes your dance classes your sports other programs which you have outside the schools which you go personally even there you can have people who are with you and they are peers now you must understand that you may not always consider all your peers to be friends but they are influencing you in some way or the other so peer pressure can be both positive and negative so when you talk about peer pressure being positive it is in the form of friendship where you have friends whom you accept you have a long lasting bond you want to be like them it can be positive examples where you are learning some good values from them you want to be goal oriented like them for example children of your age when they participate in olympics 
you want to be like them you want to be of that sport let us say you are in a gymnasium or you are practicing gym you are seeing all those gymnasts in the olympics you want to take on them so that's a kind of a positive pressure it could be feedback and advice that you get from your peers in order to improve yourself it can be also socializing your peer groups give you opportunities to try out new social skills like communication it can be about building new friendship relationships encouragement that you get from your peer let us suppose that you are upset about losing a match but your peers will encourage you so peer pressure can be positive the negative part of it comes uh, when you feel guilty or disappointed when you don't join the group when they are doing something that is not acceptable like uh, you know dressing in a certain way which you are not comfortable with but you are forced to do it because of the peers or cheating or copying someone else's work or letting others copy your work just because it is a peer pressure it could also be including in certain social activities which you are not comfortable but you are forced to do it taking dangerous risks with certain activities especially driving smoking taking drugs alcohol shoplifting stealing bullying cyber bullying these are things which you are not comfortable with which you know is inappropriate that means it is not correct but you are forced to do it because you want to belong to that group your group of friends or peers will take you into the group only if you join and if you don't join they may bully you so your fear of that you are forced to come under a negative peer pressure now this negative peer pressure is what affects your mental well being now the pressure could be uh, of different kinds where you are forced to do things uh, which you know is not correct your parents or teachers advise you not to do it but you are, but you have to do it because you want to belong to that group so today we will be discussing more in detail about the different kinds of peer pressures and how we are going to overcome it how do you draw a line as to how much you will be influenced by those peers that is what you will understand from this session on what is peer pressure thank you वेरी वेल सेड मैम कि जिस तरीके से आपने समझाया कि पीयर प्रेशर बहुत अलग अलग तरीके से हो सकता है और कई बार ऐसा भी होता है कि आ, सिर्फ उस पीयर ग्रुप को बिलोंग करने के लिए कई बार बच्चे इस प्रेशर में आ जाते हैं मोस्टली ये जो डॉल्सिंस एज होती है ये इट्स रियली टफ टू हैंडल फॉर द किड्स फॉर द आर यंग जो हमारे बच्चे हैं साथ ही साथ पेरेंट्स के लिए भी uh, रारी मैम मैं आपसे समझना चाहूँगी कि वेन वी टॉक अबाउट आ पीयर प्रेशर वॉट आर द डिफरेंट वेज स्टूडेंट एक्सपीरियंस दिस पीयर प्रेशर बिकॉज इट कैन बी इन अ डिफरेंट वेज डिफरेंट एज प्रोफेसर कल्पना मेक अस अंडरस्टैंड यस मैम थैंक यू सो मच तो जिस तरीके से हम इस उम्र में पीयर प्रेशर की बात करते हैं तो हमारे बच्चे जी मैम प्लीज कंटिन्यू यस मैम सॉरी फॉर द ट्रैवल द स्लाइड्स नो शो मैम वे आर नॉट मूविंग या ओके व्हेन अस थैंक यू फॉर द क्वेश्चन मैम अस कल्पना मैम हैज राइटली पॉइंटेड आउट देयर कैन बी पॉजिटिव एंड नेगेटिव पीयर प्रेशर when positive peer pressure help us to achieve our goals negative peer pressure can lead to uh, risky behaviors and stressful conditions so here we are going to see some common scenarios uh, in which uh, like peer, uh, peer pressure can manifest in what all ways peer pressure can manifest and since it is all about students uh, first thing i want to see uh, i want to talk about is how peer pressure can happen through academic performance okay positive peer pressure can happen when students encourage each other to study and excel in academics but when it comes to a uh, uh, negative peer pressure when someone discourage or ridicule someone for prioritizing academics 
over other social activities it can lead to negative peer pressure and it can lead to a lead to a stressful situation among students so next point i want to discuss is about how appearance and fashion is going to um, uh, bring this peer pressure so uh, influencing clothing choices hairstyles or overall appearances to fit in with a particular group this can lead to pressure so pressuring someone to conform to specific fashion trends or styles can lead to uh, peer pressure sometimes so next one is social activities so that urge to participate in social events parties or gatherings okay many students may not be interested in participating in such events so our society consists of both introverts extroverts or kind all kinds of individual differences are there since someone is not happy to participate in a social activity there are chances to exclude that individual or mock that individual who choose not to participate and this can bring sort of stress and pressure in students such students and next point i want to discuss is about the substance use how the substance use is going to bring peer pressure because uh, to adhere to certain groups or pressuring peers to experiment with drugs alcohol tobacco all these things and ostracizing or making fun of those who choose choose to abstain abstain from all this kind of use Uh, it can also uh, such individuals can also get a sort of pressure since they are away from all these things there are high chances that their peer group will mock at on them a hey, what individual here you are not using all these things like that that will create a sort of tension among them whether to choose it or not to choose and next one i'm going to talk about is how relationships certain relationships maybe mm, peer will encourage uh, as to pursue or avoid certain relationships okay so disapproving or mocking individuals for their relationship choices can also lead to peer pressure and the next one i'm going to discuss is about how social media and technology is bringing peer pressure we know students are now so much of technology oriented exactly. and influencing the online behavior like such as what to post like or share on social media and sometimes shaming or excluding someone for not conforming to popular online trends if that individual is not that into a social media or something their friends are having and when when they shame them or exclude them that he or she is not adhering to the popular online trends like that that can also bring a sort of uh, pressure among them right ma'am and there's then, so many different uh, ways uh, uh there there is so many different things uh, what are student facing actually now these days especially uh, when we talk about the uh, social media and all uh how can student effectively handle these all pressure in school because when we talk about a home there is a parents but jab hum school ki baat karte to there is no parents there so uh how can student handle this pressure effectively in school yeah so it is crucial for students to develop strong decision making skills and a sense of their own values to navigate these influences effectively handling peer pressure in school can be challenging but there are effective strategies to navigate it and uh, yeah we will be going to discuss that only now uh and first and foremost thing is you should have that confidence and assertiveness in you be confident in your choices and don't be afraid to assert yourself you can politely decline invitations or suggestions that you are not comfortable with and try to practice saying no it's okay to say no when something doesn't align with your values or makes you uncomfortable so practice assertive communication is the first and foremost thing you can do uh, to effectively handle this peer pressure then you can choose your friends very wisely surround yourself with people who respect your choices and values true friends will support you only not pressurize you you need to understand that then you need to evaluate where you need to bring changes within yourself first of all you need to know your values understand what is important to you and what you believe in this will serve as a strong foundation for making decisions next you can educate yourself understand the potential consequences of giving into negative peer pressure this knowledge can reinforce your resolve 
then you can set boundaries be clear about your limits and what you are comfortable with and communicate those boundaries assertively but respectfully to your peers then you can learn to manage stress peer pressure can be stressful you can develop healthy coping mechanisms like exercising deep breathing or mindfulness you can uh, practice mindfulness to manage your stress be aware of your emotions is a thing you can do. and when you are not you are not able to do it by yourself be always ready to seek support from adults talk to parents teachers or school counselors about any peer pressure you are facing they can offer you guidance and support and also it is very much important that you must engage in activities you really enjoy you need to pursue your hobbies and interests that make you feel about yourself you can vent your emotions through journaling writing this can boost your self esteem and confidence and be a leader not a follower sometimes taking a stand against peer pressure can inspire others also to do the same remember it is perfectly normal to fa uh, face peer pressure and it's a part of growing up trust yourself and your instincts and don't be afraid to seek support when needed very so well these said. are the effect yes ma'am yeah, very you well can. said ki basically khud par vishwas rakho yani ki jo peer pressure hai usko handle karne ka bhi ek tarika hai ek pattern hai usse darne ki zarurat nahi hai ye part of your life your student life hai aur isko hame understand karna hoga aur sath hi main professor kalpana aapke paas aana chahungi aur when we talk about jaisa ki abhi rani ma'am ne kar rahi ma'am ne kaha ki jo pressure hai usko wo ek part hai isko handle karna seekhna hoga to yahan par hum पेरेंट्स की अभिभावकों की जब भूमिका की बात करते हैं तो उनके लिए किस तरीके की टिप्स आप देना चाहेंगे टीचर्स के लिए कुछ स्पेसिफिक बातों का ध्यान रखना चाहिए मैं चाहूंगी कि उस पर आप थोड़ा सा लाइट अप करें थैंक यू देर आर सर्टन साइंस विच वी कैन इजिली आइडेंटिफाई एज पेरेंट्स एंड reduced suddenly there is a reduced school performance uh, negative behavior especially when it is concerned with friends uh, wanting to be more with friends hiding some things in the room or hiding something in the bag which parents have found uh, and uh, displaying some kind of risky uh, a little bit of uh, you know uh, let us say criminal kind of behaviors which the child is engaged in and you have identified it is better to be from the beginning if you identify it then you should start talking to the child about it and also it can happen among siblings when they have a bullying behavior in the in the family among the siblings or you have found that your child uh, is using drugs alcohol these are certain signs initially please don't just talk to the child and leave it there but uh, it is nice for you to keep on monitoring this activity or this kind of behavior in children now what is important is that for young children it is important that we provide a safe environment for communication it should be an open communication once you see this it is important that you communicate with the child frequently talk to the child what is it that is affecting the child and identify it bring their friends home so that you know who are the friends what kind of friends they are try to have a family connection so that you know the all the friends also know what kind of a family you are and have always a backup plan for your child in situations of peer pressure that means let us say the child is going through a negative peer pressure you have come to know about it it is better that you start offering your help as an adult to the child encourage your child to have a, have friends of a varied type so that the child experiences and you know which are the kind of friends that the child is getting close with that will give you a, a you be an eye opener for you how to handle with the child so if your child is happy with who they are and their choices and values they are likely to show it to you it is visible for adults to see what kind of friends they are this will help you to the certain mood swings in children change in sleep patterns excessive use of gadgets and what they are watching on the gadgets this also will tell you what kind of pressure they have from their friends so some of these warning signals we can uh, keep in mind loss of appetite appetite reluctance to go to school reluctance to mingle with other friends these are some of the ways by which 
uh, we can easily find out that the child has an issue. So with the influence of adults and a strong sense of themselves, it's more likely that children will know where to draw the line when it comes to peer pressure and peer influence and they will be more confident to handle their relationships with peers. And once children learn how to overcome negative peer pressure, it becomes very easy thereafter when they start growing into adolescence and young adulthood and thereafter like us, they know where to draw the line and where to put an end to that kind of negative peer pressure. Initially, right, they will need the support of adults. Right, ma'am. Thank you. Uh, Radhi ma'am, uh, may chalte chalte ek concluding one liner remark uh, aapka chahungi is pure topic par. Ma'am, aapko bhi diyaas mil rahi hai. Ma'am, one liner concluding remark. Yes, uh, as ma'am has rightly pointed out, peer pressure is like, like a very important topic we need to discuss. Uh, because uh, it should not uh, affect like negatively our students so we can we can follow all these strategies that i have discussed and it can be these tips can be useful for parents and teachers also to effectively handle peer pressure in school and i hope uh, it will happen well and thank you Kalpana ma'am, one liner concluding remark may aapka bhi chahun ki rupure topic. Thank you, thank you. It's very important that we don't take peer pressure lightly. You know, with the coming days we are seeing that there are a lot of aspects, socialization which is happening in school and outside the home wherever the child is with children of their own age where it is becoming difficult for children. Uh, to socialize freely and it is having an influence on them. It is very important for us as adults to be able to channelize the positive peer uh, pressure, which we don't normally call as pressure, but positive peer influence. So that you can encourage, have them, let them have good friends, let them talk to their friends. And when you know that uh, you, you are not confident about your child choosing the friends, just monitor it. You don't have to choose the friends for your child, but it is important that uh, you monitor what kind of friendship, what yes, kind of socialization they are having with their friends. That is very important for uh, children, uh, especially when they are young. Yes, and uh, when we know that it can affect their performance in school and their बिल्कुल मैम बहुत अच्छी बात आपने कही कि हमें उन्हें बहुत ज़्यादा इंटरफेरेंस नहीं करनी है बिकॉज इस उम्र में शायद बहुत इंटरफेरेंस पसंद भी नहीं आती बच्चों को तो बेटर टू मॉनिटर एंड डायरेक्टली नहीं बल्कि इनडायरेक्टली उनको इस चीज़ के लिए गाइड किया जा सकता है कि वो किसे अपने दोस्तों की लिस्ट में शामिल करें और किन्हें न करें वाइजली चूज करें थैंक यू सो मच मैम आप दोनों का बहुत शुक्रिया आपने टाइम निकाला और इस टॉपिक पर डिटेल डिस्कशन किया थैंक यू सो मच कल्पना मैम थैंक यू सो मच रारी मैम थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू नमस्कार नमस्कार मैम तो इसी के साथ इस सेशन को तो हम यहाँ ख़त्म करते हैं लेकिन चलते चलते एक बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट इन्फॉर्मेशन आप सब के लिए और वो है एन की किताबों से जुड़ी हुई 2023 और 24 की जो एन की पाठ्य पुस्तकें हैं वो फिलहाल पूरे देश में उपलब्ध हैं और ये आप एन के बिक्री काउंटर से खरीद सकते हैं नई दिल्ली अहमदाबाद बेंगलुरु कोलकाता और गुवाहाटी में स्थित है इसके अलावा ये बिक्री काउंटर शनिवार रविवार और सरकारी छुट्टियों में भी कार्यरत हैं और इनका जो समय है वो है साढ़े से छः बजे तक इसके अलावा आप इन पुस्तकों को वेबसाइट के माध्यम से भी ऑनलाइन मंगा सकते हैं निशुल्क और इसके लिए आपको लॉगिन करना होगा एन सी इन पर और अगर आप चाहें तो इन पुस्तकों का पीडीएफ संस्करण भी उपलब्ध है आप इनकी सॉफ्ट कॉपी भी डाउनलोड कर सकते हैं इसके अलावा आप एन दीक्षा और ई पाठशाला ऐप का भी उपयोग कर सकते हैं और हमारे कार्यक्रमों से जुड़ा हुआ या फिर कोई ऐसी जानकारी या कोई एक फीडबैक जो आप एन से जुड़ी हुई हमें देना चाहते हैं हमसे साझा करना चाहते हैं तो आप एन सी पर भी हमसे संपर्क कर सकते हैं तो इसी के साथ इस सेशन को यहीं ख़त्म करते हैं इन लाइनों के साथ कि अपना बहुत ख्याल रखिए और स्मार्टली अपने जीवन में अपने दोस्तों को चुनिए क्योंकि हमारे व्यक्तित्व पर बहुत बड़ा असर पड़ता है हम जिनके साथ 
रहते हैं नमस्कार तन और मन का रखे खयाल जीवन को बनाए खुशहाल तन और मन का रखे खयाल जीवन को बनाए खुशहाल कौन से लड़को बताए अपना हाल कौन से लड़को बताए अपना हाल जो सुने हमारे मन के सवाल सब मिलकर ले ये प्रण स्वस्थ हो तन और स्वस्थ हो मन सब मिलकर ले ये प्रण स्वस्थ हो तन और स्वस्थ हो मन मनोदर्पण के काउंसलर से परामर्श पाने के लिए डायल करें टोल फ्री नंबर आठ चार चार आठ चार चार शून्य छ तीन दो नंबर एक बार फिर सुने एट फोर फोर एट फोर फोर जीरो सिक्स थ्री टू